that is a that is a great energy to start this thing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So I was just telling Paz how today is one of the best days of my life. And I was thanking him for being a part of it. And he responded to me that isn't every day the best day of your life in our lives. And while I totally agree with him, I think some days have a little extra sparkle in them. And today's one of them. So if you guys notice, I have my logo in the corner. I got this fine gentleman here, Paz, to interview. Um, there's a bunch of amazing things going on. Uh, so I want to introduce Paz to everybody. Um, me and Paz met, I think, as like almost a synchro destiny. Yep. Um, it's, yeah, it's unreal. It's beautiful. And Paz shared a little bit with me about his story. And it was really interesting because to me because we have a lot of similar interests. And a lot of the things that I want to do, he's already done. So I think it's a great um, friendship and some a great mentor for me to have. Um, and I hope that I bring you some value as well. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm super excited to be here with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So so Paz, you're a you're a business and a life coach uh, for some of the biggest names in the, the self development industry. Um, with Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, and then I saw that you're a real estate mentor with Grant Cardone. I didn't. We didn't talk about that. I didn't know that part. Oh yeah, I'm a real estate mentor as well. Yes, I did some uh, courses of Grant, of course, and uh, now I'm. Uh, you know, my, this is how I actually got started in this. Uh, you know, in my life when I start over my life, if you remember, but nobody knows the story, so I will just share a little bit of uh, my story so everybody can uh, understand the connection between me and real estate um, and how I actually got started in, you know, in general, in life, because I feel like I was a, basically reborn when I was this close to take my own life. Um, and this is how everything, you know, I just truly believe that a lot of people that, you know, when you have uh, a near-death experience or you cause that near-death experience for yourself something happened something changed in, in in the way that you think you see life you see people i see everything differently and when i told you that i feel like every day is the best day of my life i truly mean that because you know i'm alive i can speak i can see i can taste i can smell um i can walk you know, like the little things in life that, that everybody take for granted, by the way, um, which led me to another thing that people take for granted and they think they need money to be happy. All the things that money cannot buy, those are the things that makes you the most uh, happy. Think about it for a minute. You cannot buy love and this thing can fulfill your heart with so much happiness. Money you can't can buy, buy love, love. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy friendship you can't buy uh you know health i know most people may, maybe some people will disagree with me but you cannot buy health like when you're if you take care of your body i see bob proctor you know he he didn't he never he visited the doctor maybe a few times in the past years you know and he's 86 now so I, I just think that you cannot buy those things that uh, that we have. So we just need to really be grateful. This is how I start my morning, by the way. I always write down 10 things that I'm grateful for because, you know, it's not for, it, you don't, I don't take this for granted. So, yeah. These notebooks um, fill up quick when you're grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it is. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. Thank you so, so much I, for sharing that. Oh, sure. It's my, this is why I'm here for now. I just want to share as much as I can with everybody. And, uh, you know, my mission in life is to inspire and to not just motivate people. I want to inspire because when, when, I when someone is motivated, the motivation goes away after, 
I don't know, few few days or hours. But when you inspire someone, it's inspiration it sticks. And uh, so yeah, this is what I I, I really hope that I can uh, inspire some people that will be watching that and you as well. <laughs> well I hope you know you've inspired me already. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And um, you sent me Think and Grow Rich, the movie, and oh, yeah. which I really appreciated because a lot of time I read a lot, but to see it visually and to like have those scenes, I mean, that's part of like the manifestation. And, you know, when that, the, the gentleman was going into the office and, you know, he felt like he belonged there. And I mean, it's just like those visuals for me were like super beneficial. Um, yeah. Which leads to my question. How did you get, um, What? how do you feel about mindset and um, like the secret and all that jazz? Funny that you asked that. I just talked to a friend about the secret and some of the BSs and on the secret. I know, I know, I love the secret, but it's so like, it's very superficial because when you go deep, like, if you go into your car and this is a crappy car and you imagine yourself in a in a Rolls Royce, probably uh, it will not happen. Probably. Because there is some layers you need to penetrate. You need to emotionalize. First, first of all, you need to visualize it. That is that is number one. But they don't talk about emotionalize the, the, the feeling because everything you feel, everything you get emotionally involved in will manifest and to get emotionally involved in like owning a Rolls Royce or, you know, before I got my sports car, I really, you know, whenever I would start a car, I really meditated. I, I didn't just visualize myself. I felt it. I smelled the new car smell. I oh. bought, you know, this is ridiculous, but I bought a new car smell refresher, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I do. <laughs> that is pathetic, but I, that? I, now, now that I look back, now you know when when you buy a new car, you don't need that stinky refresher. <laughs> so <laughs> so the secret oh. I love that that movie and the book, but uh, there is some missing missing pieces. And when you emotionalize it, this is where the magic happens. And to em to emotionalize it, you need to repeat it through auto suggestion. Just Tell yourself the same thing over and over and over because we learn through repetition. Everything we will repeat uh, will get inside our subconscious mind and we operate through our subconscious mind. So I love what Bob said uh, the other day. He said, we got to learn through repetition because if someone will, like when you're a kid, if your parents will tell you, your name is Bob one time, that's it. Remember it. You know, you will not learn your name, how you learn your name. They keep on telling you, Bob, 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 this is your name. Uh, and I really, I really love that because this is how I insert um, new ideas and uh, thoughts and things into my subconscious mind. And then I manifest them. Like I manifested to meet Tony, manifested to meet Gary, manifested to meet Bob, Grant, all the great people, you know. When I look at that, I, I, I'm really impressed by myself, by the way. I'm impressed I'm, too. I want to learn yeah. from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm like, you know, I'm working on something. Let me, uh, there is a way that I can share the screen here, right? Um, like to, I have it. What do you mean? Share, share it to. Oh yeah. I want to show you a picture. Oh, um, if you send it to me on my phone i could i could uh upload it oh yeah okay oh i see can i can share the screen just oh. a sec. i can sh oh. let's see um okay uh, can you see the picture of me and grant mm -mm. no okay and me and bob no also what what can you see <laughs> <Just asked. laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it will take some. Ah. I, I I'm still learning this. I uh, I bought like a little yeah. microphone. I don't know how to use. Um, I'm gonna learn. It's my first week. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, I think now. Now can Maybe you see my? 
Maybe they can see it. I just, I don't see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I will share it maybe. I'll, I will I send can post it, it too. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a picture of 10X with me and Grant. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I think about the people that I've met, I, I just look back and I, and I think to myself, man, like, how did I manifest that? that? And, and sometimes I cannot believe myself. But then I was like, you know, it wasn't by mistake. I created that. I really, I put my thoughts into it. I didn't put any other efforts. <clears throat> I just thought about it over and over and over and over until when it happened, by the way, I told everybody, like when I met Tony for the first time, I told him, I knew I'm going to meet you. <laughs> like, I, I, I felt, I felt you way before. I felt your hand, your handshake way wow. before you shook your hand. Oh, like, I got a hug from him. It was so nice. <laughs> it was like, like healing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I met him at the Real Estate and Wealth Expo in Jersey. And um, it was, I'll never forget it. It was like to the song Lions in the Wild. And he just <sighs> came over and he hugged me and he gave me a big kiss. And then he like darted towards my friend Marissa and gave her a hug and a kiss. And then he went. Right back on stage. It was so awesome. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. His energy is just uh, sticks. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you, I guess, a little bit selfishly about um, the hospital. I see that you're a hospitality enthusiast like myself, and you've done everything in the industry. Are you still in the industry at all? Which industry? Real estate? Uh, the restaurant. Ah, the restaurant. Sorry. Um, no, I hate it. Oh my God. We need to talk. <laughs> so, all right. So I've been in the restaurant industry my whole life and okay. I want to know if you don't mind, how did you, how did you get out of that world and into this one? Ooh. And, and yeah, because a... you've done a lot. And I still, we could talk privately. I wanted to ask you a few questions about some things, but uh, to benefit everybody, I'm just curious to how you shifted. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hope you got time. Now, I, 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 will make I know I have time. I don't know if you have time. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to make it short because this is a really long story. So basically, uh, this industry, that, that in, this industry uh, uh, spit me out because I opened a lot of, restaurants i was a franchisee a coffee coffee house um coffee shops um a lot of pizza hut uh, you know all kinds of things in that industry I was a yeah yeah I, I almost forgot about it <laughs> <laughs> and um and and i got to a point where i had like 25 businesses and so much uh, partners and people involved and a lot of money on the table and and i got to a point where i i, I really didn't wanted a lot of partners so i tried so i started to buy my partners out i buy them out ta, 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 ta. i did it like one after another and uh, i was arrogant i admit and i i thought that you know i, I made a lot of money but back then i was money driven I really was my dream. I didn't I, I wanted to bring a lot of value to people, but I cared about the money more than I cared about the people. This is one of the differences between old me and new me. So I just lost, let's put it that way. I lost millions of dollars um in that industry. Um and I got to a point where my partners uh sued me, some of them because I buy them out and now I wanted to sell the business for three times more. And, you know, I tried just to flip the, the businesses and try to make a lot of, a lot of things happen at the same time, because I thought that I was Superman because, you know, a lot of good things happened to me. And I was like, I'm on chick, I'm on un, uh, unbreakable. I can do everything. I was so arrogant Um, you know, fancy house, fancy car, um not giving a shit about every nobody um and i think that this that was god's way to tell me be humble 
uh, because I lost everything almost overnight. And then I was owed, I, I owe to people so much. I owe to the black market. I owe to my family. I made my, my mom to so, sell her house, the one that she was living in, to give me money because I needed to get my, my head up. Um, I just didn't know who, who I can ask uh, for money because I, I owed to everybody. Uh, so I took her money. I, uh, I invested it. I lost it. Then I got to a point that I lost everything and I owe to everybody. And uh, I just ran away. I just took my few hundred bucks and flew to LA. And uh, for those of you who don't know that, Los Angeles, this is like a refugee center for Israeli people. A lot of Israeli people that owe a lot of money in Israel go to LA. If some Israelis watching that right now, they will understand because there is so many Israelis in LA that owe money to a lot of people. A lot of uh, debt collectors go to LA to find those people because there is like hundreds, like thousands of people of Israelis that owe money back in Israel that went to LA. So I just didn't know what to do with uh, you know this is how I got out of, of the industry. The industry the industry literally spit me out and you know I didn't when I started as a bartender and uh, by the way I won first place in flaring in, I still uh, want to see you you can send me the oh, video. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can um, on YouTube you can find me. Oh cool um, and um, yeah, so I, I lost passion to the to people and to really serve them, and I fell in love with the reward, with the money. And so that that is how I just went just went out of this industry. Uh, I made a lot of a ton of mistakes, and um, that's it. Yeah. So I guess that leads to my next question because I remember you telling me how you got the book right was it think and grow rich oh yeah and then I, i'm really curious to what happened after that after you read that book what was okay. the next step in the journey i read it once i was broke twice broke three times broke five times broke i was broke for a long time after i read it and then it hit me it really hit me um the secret that everybody's talking about and Napoleon Hill's talking about the secret. Now I can give you the secret. It's no problem, but I really, I, I dug deep into this uh, book and everybody finds out the secret in a different angle. And there is more than one secret, by the way, in this book, one of them, da, 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 I know now your intention. What is the, secret? <laughs> the secret is not to think about yourself. It is. That is the secret. Don't think about yourself. Beautiful. And that's it. Like, and that hit me. Like, fuck. And now I, I read the book again after I discovered this, this one secret that changed my life. And then I saw it over a hundred times in the book. I was like, what? How can I, can, how I didn't see it before? And by the way, now I'm working on a Think and Go Rich online course where I reveal all the the mini secrets that led to one, like everybody needs just one secret that they can use. For me, that that, it was, that was like, don't think about myself. And after I revealed that secret, so many other small secrets just appeared to me. Uh, so I teach it also on my online course. It, I didn't release it yet. I'm still working on it, but it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And by the way, I'm going to sell it for 37 bucks because I want everybody to know that I don't do it for the money. I do it for, you know, for the people because now I am value driven, not money driven. Cause now, you know, thank God I got all the money I need. <laughs> so I got everything I need. I, there, there, it's more than I can take. So I really admire that about you. And I, I believe you. And, um, I think your can like your contribution is, uh, in main focus and, I want to sign up, so let me know when you when you get that going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will. Um, thank you. Yeah. So, is there anything that you want to share um, 
to help people during these times. I know every time we talk, we're both like pumped up and psyched about all the opportunity and how that this is a benefit. But is there anything that you might want to share that's helped you if you've had any, you know, thoughts that weren't that positive? I think the benefit on in this at these times is really to learn uh, more about yourself. Um, like I, we talked about the first time, I uh, I came to Mexico for a few months to get away from everything, to write my book, to, to really discover myself. Um, so I think, I think people need to take the time to really, really evaluate themselves. And by the way, one more thing about Think and Grow Rich. Have you read the book, by the way? Yes, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. If you could say. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I already know. The, I already know the answer, but still, have you answered all one hundred questions in this book? Yep, like ninety-nine percent of the people. Now, when I talk to people and I ask them, they say, "Oh, yes, the book. you the call me out." <laughs> <laughs> so when people tell me, "Yeah, I read the book. I read the book, but I'm still not rich." And then my second question is, have you read, answered the questions? And my third question is, how much time you dedicate to answer the, those questions? Fourth question, have you let anybody else review your question, your answers that is not you? Because, you know, you're biased to yourself. So, so it's, it's like people... You know, when you read this book and when you answer those questions, and this is, I, I just want to say it because I think that uh, at these times, people just need to take the time to themselves and um, just to really develop their own mind. You know, the mind, this is the most important thing that we have in our possession. Everything, everything in our life starts with a thought. Everything, 100% of the things starts with a thought. If I, you know, you thought about reaching out to me and here we are. And, you know, it might look like a small thing, but when I thought about meeting Tony, it starts with a thought. If I haven't thought about it, it wouldn't let me to go to the seminar, write down the note that I'm going to meet him, you know. So, again, it starts with a thought. And I think that we are underestimating the power of, the, of our mind. Because we can create, oh my God. Like, okay, one more thing that I want to say about exactly the time that we are spending here right now. Six hours a day, and I'm not exaggerating, people who know me know that I do that. Six hours a day, <clears throat> I get away. I turn off my phone and I, I get into this deep meditation and trance because... And I, I imagine I have three lives. I have this physical world that we're living in. Okay. I got my bank account and all kind of cool shit. And <laughs> I have the second world that this is the world that I live in my subconscious mind, which I live through my dreams when I go to sleep. And I created a third world because I have the ability to do that. Everybody have the ability to do that. And this is why I want to encourage people to do that. I don't expect people to meditate now for six hours, but when you learn the power of meditation, I learned it from Dr. Joe Dispenza. Uh, yes. He's one of my dearest friends now, because, and also how I met him. I went to one of his cruises and I just, you know, I just said, I will meet him. And not everybody got to meet him, but I did. Because <laughs> again, I thought about it manifested it that's it and i know i'm very careful about the things that i put inside my mind because i know if i'm thinking about something it will happen like yeah. it will happen we're reading the soul of money and today in the mastermind we're all we're all talking about manifestation and how our where focus goes energy flows and you know it made me think of the idea that even if you focus on like especially during these times too if you focus on the negative stuff you're going to get more negative the universe doesn't decipher what's good or bad. Mm. So I just wanted to add that. Yeah, it's exactly, by the way, exactly. So what I, what I do, I just meditate and I created this virtual world in my, my own head. Um, and I just 
you know, get into this meditation and I just visualize whatever I want, uh, where I want to be, who I want to meet. And I, I really missed being around. Let's, let's, give, let, let's give you an example for what I did today. So I really missed being around really great people from Israel. Okay, a lot of great mentors. Because they are my friends and I really love them. So I just meditate, visualize that they're here with me at my pool. And we're just sitting, uh, drinking beer, having fun. And then I, I, I knew that I know that one of them really loved Tony Robbins. And then I said, let's call Tony. Let's bring him in. And Tony worked with and now I say like this, because Tony was with me today at my pool. That's beautiful. He wasn't there physically, but you know what? Who can say that he was there or not? In my mind, I saw him. I felt him. Okay. I smelled him. I know it's creepy. <laughs> I, <smelled> him. <laughs> I, I love smelled. you. That's so good. <laughs> like, hey, Tony. <laughs> Just him. Uh, and that's it. And you know what? I had an awesome morning. I was there. He was there. Everybody was there. That was awesome. I've actually that done that morning. before. It's kind of oh. weird. I'm not going to share publicly, but yeah, I've done that before. I was in Singapore, though, some, for some reason. It's weird. <laughs> but it felt good. Yes, 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 yes. Again, the, 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 the body cannot differentiate what the mind thinks. Like, I can create everything. And what I learned from Dr. Joe Dispenza, you probably heard all of his or most of his lectures. He says, like, we can heal our, ourselves. Because, you know, I had a um, um, some kind of medical condition. And I thought, first of all, I said, thank you, God, for giving me this condition because you try me. You want to see how I can deal with that. And I will deal with that because I learned Dr. Joe Dispenza. And that was right after I learned that. It, it's like God said, gave me the test. And I thought, I'm, it's on. All good. I had a fever and I was alone. It was when I got to Mexico. And, you know. Before I or after I spoke to you? Uh, no, way, way before. Oh, okay. Um, and I thought, um, I thought to myself. So, okay, I will not go to a hospital in Mexico. <laughs> no way. Uh, so I thought, okay, let's put into practice what I've learned. And I did it. And like 24 hours later, no fever, nothing. I was like a brand new. I was like, am I un I'm unbreakable right now? Like, can I heal myself? And I was like, oh my God. Okay, let's try. I don't know. Let's see. And something that I didn't share with you. Uh, my mom, she's on a wheelchair. She got a, she had a surgery that went bad, and now she's on a wheelchair. And I told her that. Uh, and now she's starting to move her legs. She's not walking yet. But the doctor said 100% she will not walk again. And I told her to, to do this, uh, you know, to visualize herself walking and, and emotionalize it. She started to move her legs. It's amazing. Like, the doctor said she will not walk. She cannot feel her legs. And now she can. You know, everything 100% is in our mind. We can do everything. We are supernatural, like Dr. Joe Dispenza said. We are supernatural. Um, Have you seen Heal on Netflix? Heal. Um, I don't think, I, I don't, ooh, I'm sorry, I don't watch uh, uh, Netflix at all. I don't either, but you should watch it. I think okay. you'd like it. I think you'd really like it. I will see that. Yeah. I will. Nice. I got a subscri subscri subscription to Gaia. Oh. So do you, have you ever seen What the Bleep Do We Know? Oh, I saw it like 10 years ago. <laughs> Me too. It's so good yeah. though. <laughs> With the rice experiment. Mm -hmm. So good. The Sometimes rice experiment really made me think like, about the power of, of of my mind, you know, if if my mind, if I look at the rice and I can curse the rice and it becomes like uh, black, so I thought what my mind can, my, what my mind can do, like to my body, you know. So this is how I start also to uh, just say good things to myself all the time. I love that about you. Thank you. So, <laughs> if, so I have one more question. Um, since you're a business coach and I'm 
a little bit unsure of what direction I'm going in. Do you have any advice for somebody who feels that way, like me? Ooh, wow. Yeah, of course, I got it. Um, I think, first of all, you got to know, and I tell this to all of my clients, by the way, a lot of my clients, a lot of people that come to me that want me to mentor them um, uh, to be a real estate investor, uh, I just tell them, do you want to be a real estate investor because of it's a cool title and it's a lot of money or this is your passion? Mm. And a lot of times they, they lie to me and they say, this is my passion, teach me. And I teach them and they make money. But a few months later, they come to me and say, listen, uh, this is not really what I want to do. So I was like, I knew that this is not what you want to do. You're just in it for the money. Um, so and that was a waste of time, by the way. That was that is a waste of time because mm -hmm. it's never about the money. It's about you being happy. So That's just such a huge message. Just that that sentence is such a huge message. Yeah, I, I I'm glad you got it because that was coming from the bottom of my heart. So uh, just think about what you would uh, what 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 do what would you like to do if money wasn't an issue. Money is not. A, <laughs> you have to focus on this, yeah. no? Because the most important thing, I don't know if I shared this with you also, but I was in some point of my life I was extremely rich, and I dipped my feet into my private pool. Okay, that was like you know all the money that I could have imagined, and I started crying because I was unhappy. And, you know, the, that was the worst day of my life because I realized that I'm rich, but I'm poor inside. And, you know, when you're broke, by the way, you have all the reasons in the world to feel sorry for yourself. Like if someone's watching this right now and is like, I'm poor and I'm sad, you know, you got a great excuse. But what if you're rich and you're sad? Yeah, yeah. Now what? what? Now what? What, what are you going to do now? Uh, and then I just really research um, happy people, how to be happy. And so, and when I find out what I want to do, like what makes me happy, this is the most, I can say this mo most lucrative business that I have ever been in. Uh, not just money wise, but deep inside. Cause when my clients tell me, listen, I got a breakthrough. My business is going uh, global or I'm just happier. Sometimes they say I'm just feeling happy. I was sad, depressed, and 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 really like uh, a bad person to my family and my surroundings. And now it's different. So this is the best re reward that I can get. It's more than money to me. So just think about what you want to do. Money is not an issue, and just do it. The money will come. The money will come. One hundred percent, it will come because. You know, by the way, um, what's his name? Oh, I forgot. I had a client a few years ago uh, that all he wanted, uh, he really liked to draw. So he just drew, drew on, um, on um, poker cards. And I told him, just make a business out of it. He said, there is no business in just, you know, drawing on a on, on, uh, deck of cards. And his company is going global, gone global. He sold the company uh, for 1.5 mil. Um, and they sell custom. Uh, I don't know what's the name of the company now because they sold it. And But he just made custom um, decks of poker cards. So That's cool. It. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> And that's a great example on how he just went with his passion and what he loved to do, right? And then it turned into something he never dreamed of. Exactly. Exactly. Again, just do what you love and you never work a minute. Like this is, when I do this, when I talk to you, you're like, this is a, a business hours now for me, but I don't feel like I'm working. You don't feel like you're working now, but you are working now. This is, really? this is the thing. I'm so grateful. <laughs> This is amazing. What? I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah. Exactly. It's this one is of the best I'm... days of my life. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
So yep. what do you have planned for the rest of the, the day? Um, for today, not much. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to work only uh, three hours a day. Uh, that's it. I'm not working more than that. Um, because I'm, I'm developing a philosophy of being very, very super efficient. Um, and I saw that most people are very effective just three hours uh, a day. And I've, I've studied people. I'm, I'm really, I studied people and myself included. And I saw that you only effective three hours a day. And I decided that my three hours will be super, super. When I, when I, when I work, when I do stuff, this is like super effective. Uh, and, and you can probably resonate with that, that when you're in the zone and you're working on something and, and you really like focus on that, you're super like, like you can work one hour and it will feel like you work the entire day because you really put everything into those, into this window of time. So this is what I do. I work three hours a day. The rest of the day, meditate, chill, um, study. I love studying. Um, and by the way, now I'm working also on the Think and Grow Rich online course. After that, I will do the Science of Getting Rich online course because I study this book. After that, I will do the The Power of the Subconscious Mind by uh, Dr. Joseph Murphy. After that, I, I will love, oh my gosh, hold on one second. Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. This is like the, I've had this book since I'm like a little girl. I don't even know. It's so weird. I don't know <laughs> if it was at like a garage sale or something. It's such a cool book, though. That's so I weird. It. I had never I heard anybody. Oh, my God. There's a picture I... of me from when I'm like a little girl. I wonder if that's when I got it. <laughs> that's crazy. It smells old. I love that book. Um... So I really studied that, that book because I'm definitely joining yeah. that one. Oh yeah. Like what I, I, I don't understand some people that they're not studying all the time. I just don't understand it, really, because the mind is like a muscle. When you train that muscle, it becomes very, very strong. And by the way, just for a few uh, months that I was uh, in Mexico, I learned I picked up Spanish, some Spanish, and then I picked up uh, I, I, you know, when I went to uh, Italy, I uh, learned a little bit of uh, Italian and I was like, wow, I can learn a lot of stuff because I just keep on um, strengthening. Developing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So this is what I do all day. So three, we three hours of work. The rest of the time I just working. Uh, now I'm working on a, a lot of online programs, not because of the coronavirus, because I feel that, uh, this is the best way for me um, just to teach people all around the world because I see myself when I talk to my students, I hear myself and I repeat myself a lot, you know, a lot. Uh, so I just recorded myself and now my students get a recording. Sometimes we do need to do this. Uh, we got to do it one on one. But there is some core principles and values that the person needs in order to be happy and I, i'm not saying successful because if you're happy you're successful and um and when you're happy you're rich by the way the thinking and think and grow rich for those who read it it's not all about the money it's about being happy um so yeah um this is this is basically what i do and uh, i wouldn't change a thing uh in in my in how my day looks like um, I would just keep it that. And of course, seminars and um, some lectures that I give. Um, so, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Paz, I just want to thank you. I know I had a window of time with you, and I'm grateful for that. And um, it's been really nice getting to know you better and um, picking up and like you said, just repeating those practices and thoughts in my head. And I hope that it brought everyone else value, um, which I trust that it did. 
and I will post mm -hmm. some links on this live to help anybody if they want to know more. And that's all we yeah. got for today. Thank you so much, love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy and grateful to have you in my life. Just wanted to tell you. <laughs> I'm you like so gonna explode today. <laughs> we'll keep getting better and better and better for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you soon. Pass day on for a sec. I'm gonna okay. uh, end the broadcast live. Okay.